and welcome to this Dreamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. This training course is for people who are new to web design and new to Dreamweaver. In this topic we're going to look at inserting images into a file. Now um, when you create your images you need a software package like Photoshop or Fireworks or GIMP or any program to create the images. We're going to look in this instance how to insert them once you have created them. All right, so um, we're going to use files that are already created for this tutorial. Now, what you should do if you haven't already is go through and download the exercise files. The exercise files can be found on our website at bringyourownlaptop.com.au and if you look at the resources tab along the top, you'll find the Dreamweaver tutorials. Now, on any of those pages in there, you will find the exercise files you can download. So once you've downloaded them, all right, you'll be able to insert some of the images and play, um, come along with the tutorial here. So what I would like to do is put an image just above the word vintage campus here. So I'm going to put a return in, okay, and have my cursor flashing just above vintage campus. And then I'm going to go to insert, image, image. Okay, so insert, image, image. All right, so I've got my images that I've downloaded on my desktop under Dreamweaver exercise files. So this is the files you should have downloaded from our website. Inside here, there's an option called sample images. Open that up. And right down the bottom, we're looking for one called vintage one, okay, hyphen logo.jpg. So we're gonna bring in this JPEG. All right, let's go to open. All right, and it's brought it straight in. Now, the thing to note about this is that in earlier versions of Dreamweaver, if you're using CS6 or CS5, is that it used to have a little pop-up window that had insert alt text. Okay, they've moved it in CC, it's down here. Okay, you've got to remember every time you bring an image to put this alt text in here. Okay, what alt text is, is alternative text. Now, it's, for, it's used for people that are visually impaired. Okay, and you help describe what the image is because they can't see it. And they have programs that run online okay, and through their computer that helps describe websites to them visually, uh, sorry, verbally. Now, you've got to make sure it's good, clear keywords and describes what it is. So we're going to type in uh, vintage, this is our vintage camper logo. So you need to do a couple of things. You need to make sure you describe it right. You need to make sure also that you use good keywords because Google uses alt text to help it decide what this image is about as well. So you want to make sure that our website, that you could put things in like, uh, what does it look like? We could put in blue gradient, gradient logo. Okay, now the problem with that is that it really doesn't help our strategy for our website. We want to rank really well for vintage campus, not blue gradient logo. Even though this is very descriptive, okay, we want to use the um, descriptive words that really help us get good keywords into our website. So we're going to use vintage camper logo. Okay, it's still matter of fact exactly what it is, but it helps us with better keywords. So make sure you have alt text on all your logos. Okay, sorry, all your images. Now, if you've got a website that is existing and you open it in Dreamweaver, you can just click on these images. You can see down here the alt text you can type in afterwards. So say you've got images and you've called it image one, image two, image three come back into Dreamweaver, click on the image, and download it in, in alt text, adjust it to be a bit more keyword rich. Now, we're gonna put in another image just under this booking camper today. So I'm putting a return in just afterwards. I'm gonna to go to insert again, and go to image, go to image, and go to my desktop, which has my Dreamweaver exercise files. Now, if you're on a PC, it looks slightly different, but works the same way. Go to your desktop, find Dreamweaver exercise files and sample images. Now in here, there's one called Vintage 2 image. So Vintage 2 image. You can see I've got my image in here. Now I need to make sure is I put my alt text in here. So I'm gonna describe it's going to be a VW combi van. Okay, good keywords. Okay, describes what it is, but also helps me with my vintage campers. Okay, using the word combis and vans and VW. All right, so let's put our last um, logo in, okay, last image, and it's just above the word copyright we put in before. So put a return in after that last paragraph, and let's go to insert, image, image, and then the last image I want you to find on your desktop, Dreamweaver exercise files, sample images, that's one they call vintage three footer. 
PNG. All right, so the last one, don't forget to put the old text in. This is the Camper Van Association. Spelling's terrible. Okay, so I've got a nice, it describes what it is, but it's also got the word Camper Van in there as well. Okay, what you want, don't want to do is label your alt text all the same. Okay, using the exact same keywords. You want to try and mix it up using different plurals and different ways of saying the same thing. It needs to be, um, you know, your alt text can't be random text that doesn't relate to the image. Okay, you want to not get caught out by Google by, you know, um, putting in the wrong keywords. But you do want to put um, relative to your business. Okay, so that you rank well for those terms. It's one of the many things Google uses to rank its um, for you to, uh, for it to rank your website. All right, so let's hit save. All right, and that'll be the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll look at the different images. We've got a PNG here, we've got a JPEG and a JPEG. We'll look at doing the file types in the next tutorial. All right, thanks for that. See you in the next one.